many things I find so impressive of you is your ability to be both a natural comedian and then also be a very serious actor and they're very different schools. Well, yeah, but I, I, I mean it's, first of all, I love funny and, and I also love uh, serious stuff. And I, I don't think, I don't know, how, how do you feel about this? To me, a story isn't interesting unless it recognizes that we're all going to die. Yeah. I like my humor dark. Don't, don't you think so? Yeah. Or at the very least, your dog will die. That, I don't, I don't, I don't know if we have to go there. Well, you, you, That's more traumatizing to everyone here. Wait, you, don't, you don't personally mind dying, but it's not good I'm for your okay dog. I'm okay with me, and I don't want to think about it in terms of my dog. Take me, you say. Yes, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I think I've been, it's so weird to, the, to me that everybody who's alive on the planet right now is going to be replaced by a whole layer yes. of other people. Yeah. Within 100 years or 120 years, nobody who's here now is going to be here. Yes. And we go through our lives kind of ignoring that. Yeah. That's the one thing we can be sure of. Yeah. I love that you've been able to um, be a mensch and play all of these like irascible and um, you know terrible characters. Well, thank you. <laughs> and the so, thing is, it's not whether you're a good guy or a bad guy. It's right. what you want. And, and if what you want is something really antisocial, and then you can be classified as a bad guy, but you still have other needs. You still love your poor dog who's about to go any minute. <laughs> like a heartbreaking interview, Alan. I was really excited to meet you, and I'm a little troll. You see what I mean? I, <laughs> now that I got this thing, this way to get you, I can't resist. You know? <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.